So as a Canon fan, after a while, after you take a lot of pictures, it's time for you to either downgrade or upgrade to the next camera. This is a mill camera. Unlike the ones that are mirrorless, it has a shadow right on here. And after a while, the shadow goes bust. So this specific one can take 150,000 pictures on here, which is a lot. And to find out the shadow count, well, there is nothing that says how many pictures you take. And you can see the shadow over here. So every single time you take a picture, after a while it goes bust. It's going to take it a huge time for this to go bust. But until it does, and especially if you want to go ahead and sell your camera, you got to find out an accurate shadow count for it. So for Mac, there is actually a software. The link is going to be below. What you have to do is install this software into your computer. And here is the most important part. You got to go ahead and exit after you do this. Anything that pops up, such as iPhoto, you got to quit it first. And then the most important thing is to connect this correctly to the Mac. So what you have to do specifically over here, there is going to be a port. And this is the mini C port. And it is right in the middle over here. It looks like this. So the next thing you want to actually do is to take the cable and you're going to be connecting it all the way over here. There's only one way it goes in, so don't put this the wrong way. After you stick this in just like that, you want to stick the other half into the actual port. As you put this in, the iPhoto might actually launch or any kind of photo software. And what you have to do is to quit it right away. And then you're going to be launching the application. And you're going to be using the link provided below. You're going to be putting it into your application folder. You're going to double click opening it up. Make sure your permission is to actually use something right from the web. And then you're going to be seeing exactly the shadow count on this camera of yours. So you can go ahead and sell it. Now this might not actually work for your camera. And if it doesn't work for your camera, then you have to try a different one. Now it's going to work for this model and there's going to be a link below. It's going to tell you which specific models it should work. So the first step for you is to go straight to free shadow count and you're going to be pressing right here where it says get shadow count. As you press over here all you have to do is to press this right here where it says free shadow count over here and it's going to download this directly to your computer. Inside the downloads you're going to be seeing it over here where it's going to say free shadow counter and you're going to be double clicking on it. If you double click on it and it doesn't let you actually install it, you have to fix something in your preferences. So let me go ahead and go into the preference over here and show you what you need to do. So in the preferences, you're going to go where it says privacy and security. You're going to be pressing on here. And right here, what you have to do is allow apps downloaded from. It's going to be everywhere. And you're going to be pressing on click lock to make changes and then press on advance over here if you have to. So after you do this, the next step you have to do is pretty much simple. Take the camera, plug in the USB mini C cable in here and then plug in the second part of it right into your USB right here. Now make sure this is the mistake this thing is on. And as you can see what happens is it launches photos. You don't want that. I'm going to go ahead and quit photos over here. As you quit photos you're going to be launching the free shadow count app over here. And you're going to be pressing on get shadow count and you can see here it changed and it got the number and voila mission is accomplished mm -hmm.